It's there. A reenactment of the world final six weeks ago. And Dudbridge and me and Dave Lannan commentated on six amazing sets and Dudbridge held the power. All right, the power did seven, four. But take it from me, Dudridge is world championship material. The former world master. He is a class act and he's got his, his buddies from the West Country cheering on every dot. Just like the hordes that the King's Hall still did a month ago. Go for that power. Yes, he's got some wild fans here. Said I caught a glimpse of a man dressed up as Flash, a, a red devil. 45. And just a note to the income tax. Bill Taylor has made half a million pounds in the last four months from darts and poker. Latest win in Holland last week. 105,000 pounds. But Doug Bridge is down at a finish here, 67, for an opening advantage over the world's greatest. Well, as you said, Dave, we never thought 35 years ago we'd see a master of this game. Taylor's done it. Some people think this is going to be the next world champion. He wants tops to start and cheering. Just pull it slightly. Taylor, nowhere near. And he will be back, but these are the kind of chances that Mark Douglas is going to have to take. Phil Taylor might not allow him this amount of slack as the match unfolds. Perfect one. Stuck it in at the red. The lipstick. 100. Beautiful last start by the power. 20. Double turn. For one up. And one up it is. A different start from Taylor. That's unusual. I just wonder if his reception uh, has affected his concentration. I thought so. Mind the uh, beaten British dance organisation Hollow in Holland beat Barnevel 4 0. Beat Stumpy 4 0 on the 5 average. Took Andy Fordham, all 28 start of them, to the clean out last week. And as I say, cleaned up on the money, 150,000 euros. But he's up against a class act. This boy is going to be world champion sooner rather than later. It certainly has to be said, Ted. You, you, you really, any reasonably intelligent dart follower must know and appreciate that Phil Taylor now unquestionably is the world number one. He's beaten all his rivals from other organisations out of sight over the last five years. There can no longer be any kind of conjecture about it. He's the best. Well, he's more than that. He's the best there will ever be in the game. 12 times world champion, probably did 15 times. Eight Either one. side of the generation divide. Nobody playing now will get more than three world titles. This kid will uh, have seen a man who is the epitome of a sport that me and Dave Lannan never thought could be mastered. One Lovely one. last dart. The interesting, another interesting fact about Phil Taylor, of course, is he's won 12 world titles, but he's won, in fact, 29 championships with a world title tag on them match plays and grand prix etc 100 well loving it here i hope you are too taylor he looks to go on that roll now trouble in the cover shot for him now 99 slack great chance of dudridge here then 140 makes life very interesting dave but taylor's still on a finish so he knows he's got to get a Ton 40, ton 80. 81. That's a great players from down here. I remember Doug Priestner. I remember the late great Cliff Inglis. West Country, a very proud hotbed. Top darts. Needs to travel for the double. Not an easy shot. 82. Well, Taylor averaging only 86 to Doug Bridges 93 at the moment. Great chance then for two zip here. 60 Sandy, lovely dart. Pressure on the power then for two 19s. Well, he usually goes for them rather than uh, opt for a more favoured double. Double 19 to square it. Perfect. With that barrel lie, should take it in. With the barrel lie, they're hoping. The good hey, returns for you guys. Level game to the Look power on. now. Levels it up, one away. Mark to Rafa. Uh, we have uh, a little battle on here. 
here now, and that's not the most impressive start from Dudbridge. Still looking around to get out of trouble. Interesting statistical point. And Kayla is nowhere near Dudbridge either with a start in three dots. He's 14 behind there, and he's 12 behind. 81 plus 92. So Dudbridge, all right, he's second out in tonight. He's got the field of the board. He's making the power look a bit like a selling platter here on the evidence of the first two legs. But it's still all square, Sid. 97. As you were mentioning, some of the great West Country players of uh, past years, Cliff, dear ticker, English, of course, still think, Sid, he actually has a share of the best ever 1,001. 17 darts with John Thomas Wilson. Absolutely. Good knowledge. Great atmosphere here. Superb dart. Talking about Jack Russell's picture of Taylor. These are predatory eyes. 140. Yeah, the, crowd are, stagger. the crowd are loving this, Sid. Their boy is really giving Taylor something to think about. During the interval, the crowd here was singing Drink Up by Zyder, the national anthem of Somerset. They're selling it here in jugs, four pint jugs for ten pound a shot. Refreshing it is too. 44. So I guess we two commentators, thirsty lads will be having a swift swally at the end of all this. The power, that stacking dart, that's not quite a stacker, not near enough the bed. See, he aimed it, be aimed it beautifully, but it wasn't a really good stacker. Got the last one, but might not have another shot in this leg. Dudbridge knows he's going to be back. Taylor out of range on 181. <laughs> Got to get a big treble though. Because you'd reckon the power will get at least two big trebles here. And if Dudbridge is to prevail, he's got to take full advantage of these little patches when Taylor is not at his most majestic. 98 soon. You'd rarely see Phil Taylor averaging a mere 80 in leg three of a major match. 520, you might have let Taylor off the hook. There's no sign he's in the mood to get this with the three. But then he's the greatest ever. That's in the wrong treble. Um, I would think 25, 61 is left. Or travel 15, maybe. Let's see. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's go ahead. 2-1. Good bridge look lad wants top step. Put a lot of extra spin to keep that down. Send it now. Nuddy. Here in the West Country. Bubbling like vintage scrumpy. Just wonder now if Taylor is going to click in to his impressive overdrive. 140! Last out in, in the league two weeks ago. Taylor, 10 2 against Shelton, was averaging 115 at the end of leg four, 112 at the end of leg six. Languishing here, they were on 83. And there is. Oh, Dumbridge is gracious fan in his gear. So good job we have nobody called Lady Godiva in darts. 60. Well, well, I'm not going in any phone boxes around here tonight. One hundred. 